Edmonton, a city of tents has sprung up in Harelic Park. Stretching into the distance, dozens of pavilions dot the park landscape, all in preparation for one of the most popular summer festivals in the city, the Edmonton Heritage Festival, taking place from Saturday to Monday. The Edmonton Heritage Festival runs until 8 p.m. On Monday in Harelic Park, Twitter, Edmeritage Fest, the 2018 iteration of the festival features the largest number of pavilions yet, 72 in total, representing cultural performances and food from 100 countries. Putting together a festival that draws more than 430,000 visitors is no easy feat. Cultural groups need to apply for pavilions months in advance and meet strict health and safety requirements to serve food. Preparations for raising the tents begins a month before the August Long Weekend Festival. Setting up the festival takes the better part of four weeks as there are more than 200 tents to be set up ranging in size from small 10 by 10 to large 34-foot hexagonal, said Deborah Forst, the Marketing and Communications Director for the Edmonton Heritage Festival Association, in an email statement. Article continued below this year, the organizers received applications received nearly 100 applicants for just 70 spots. Space constraints make it difficult for every applicant to receive a pavilion and usually those who have participated in the festival for more than five years tend to receive a spot. Two new pavilions announced this year were Côte d'Ivoire and a shared tent between Albania and Kosovo. However, the Albania and Kosovo team told Star Metro on Friday that they will not be participating in the festival due to organization issues. The Côte d'Ivoire Pavilion organizers, however, were busy Friday buying ingredients for their menu items. Ours is a small community and we managed to get this done in the right time to fulfill all the requirements, said Ibrahim Assise, a member of the Côte d'Ivoire community in Edmonton responsible for organizing the tent. It's a feeling of pride and joy, the pavilion will serve their country's signature beef skewers with French baguettes and sauce. Cissé says he is grateful the community received a pavilion this year and acknowledged not everyone receives one, it's really not an easy feat, he said. But we did that, so we're happy. Festival organizers drew criticism from the Palestinian community this year after the Canadian Palestine Cultural Association, CPCA, alleged its application was rejected on political grounds. Organizers insisted the group was rejected because of space constraints. The two have since agreed to meet in the fall to resolve their issues. Article continued Bellowin Friday, people were busy setting up stages and lugging equipment into their tents to get ready for the Saturday opening. Situated close to its location last year was the Iranian Pavilion, which will also be called the Persian Pavilion this year. We came from a country with thousands of years of civilization and history, said Payman Parsian, the chair of the group responsible for organizing. The pavilion, this year we have many dances from the different regions within Iran and these regions date back to Persian times and even before, the Iranian pavilion dates back to 1993 and has been there every year except for a two-year absence, said Parsian. The pavilion usually sells out its famous kebabs, a cornerstone of Iranian cuisine. The aromatic Cuba Day variety of kebab they sell is made out of ground beef and is grilled over hot coals, a ubiquitous sight on the streets of Iran. Equally popular are the pavilion saffron and pistachio ice cream, of which they usually sell 3,000 a year. In addition to the Côte d'Ivoire pavilion, there will be another new addition to the festival this year, it's the first time organizers are using solar panels. The Edmonton Mennonite Center for Newcomers tent will be powered exclusively through them and organizers say they hope all pavilions can be solar-powered in the future. The festival will run till 8 p.m. On Monday, Amout Charnalia is a general assignment reporter based in Edmonton. Reach him via email, amaya.charnalia at metronews.ca.